when will we see interstate travel? Uh, well, we, we should see interstate travel when we hit that 70% vaccination rate, Pete. That's the national plan. It's been set out in the national plan that national cabinets agreed to. And as we've seen, it's incredibly important for the travel industry. We've seen what's uh, happened to Qantas results, which they've announced this morning. Uh, that's on the back of them not being able to fly. And uh, we need to get them flying again domestically. And we want to see loved ones um, seeing each other again uh, whether it be by flying from Western Australia to New South Wales or Melbourne to Darwin, we want to make yep. sure that we, we can start to move again. The Premiers call the shots, though, don't they? No, look, National Cabinet has endorsed the National Plan and the National Plan is our way out of this pandemic and it's incredibly important for the tourism industry that we stick to the National Plan. 660,000 jobs depend on it. Our aviation sector, our accommodation sector, our, our pubs and our hotels, yeah. our accommodation sector, we're all dependent on, on people moving uh, and we want to get people moving again and that's why we yeah. need people getting vaccinated and hitting those targets of, of 70% sure. no, and then 80% yeah. where we can start opening up internationally. No doubt about that, but you can't give any assurances, can you, without the green light from premiers? Well, we, we've set out a, a national plan. It's been agreed to by National Cabinet. Every, every premier and territory leader is on National Cabinet. They've all agreed to the plan. The plan is endorsed by the Doherty Institute's got world leading experts on it. And okay. we want to make sure that we open up safely. And the plan does that. And, uh, I, you know, the national plan is just so important for our tourism industry, for those 660,000 jobs and every state and territory has a significant tourism industry here in Australia. So I know that the tourism industry is looking to that national plan as their yeah. way out of this. This is, this is what gives them hope. This is the, the light at the end of the tunnel. And they're out there encouraging everyone to get vaccinated. Uh, Qantas has done it. They're a, a right across the board, the, the tourism sector are doing it. Tourism Australia have put out a, a, a great uh, social media campaign on getting people vaccinated. They, they want to get people vaccinated so we can hit those 70 and 80 percent targets because the national plan says that that then will be great for our tourism yeah. industry and especially for those 660,000 jobs. Uh, OK, but what's your message to the premiers such as Anastasia Palaszczuk or Mark McGowan, who, as you know, have threatened to keep borders closed after vaccination targets of 80 per cent are met? Well, we, we have um, a vibrant tourism industry in Western Australia. We have a vibrant tourism industry in Queensland and they're key parts of your economy. And people do want to get moving and they want to get travelling again. And just like uh, the tourism industry in Victoria, we want to make sure that we can get people moving so loved ones can be reunited for Christmas so people have security uh, in their jobs in the tourism industry it's just so so important and the national plan is there uh, it's been agreed to by national cabinet and we need everyone on board for, for the sake of yeah. our tourism industry and for the sake of Australians so they can travel and see loved ones again sure. and especially as we lead up to Christmas that's going to be so important so we need everyone sticking to the national plan. Do you have a view uh, what is your view on, on Mark McGowan keeping the border closed for, for travellers and people want to see families or loved ones keeping that border closed but then opening it up for the AFL grand final? Well, look, I, I think the, the most important thing, Pete, is that um, everyone has agreed to the national plan at National Cabinet. And that, that's what I'm focused on, is making sure that we can get those vaccination rates up to 70% and 80%, and then we can really make sure that we implement the national plan. That, that is the, the, the key thing. When, when it comes to the AFL grand final, I, I think everyone wants to make sure that there are people watching the AFL Grand Final. I mean, one of the great things about last year's AFL Grand Final, which was in Brisbane, was that yeah. there was near, near, nearly a, a full crowd there. And to, to see that crowd being able to cheer on the Richmond Football Club win that premiership, even though I couldn't be there, I must say was fantastic 
to see. So mm. I think we understand why we want to crowd at our, our AFL grand final. But what we do want to know and what we do want to see is that everyone will stick to the national plan because that national plan is our way out of this pandemic. And it's so, so important for, for, the, for our future and especially the future jo- of our jobs. Is there a tourism industry and off, off tourism? It, you know, it's, it's absolutely important for investment into this country. People need to be able to travel into Australia to be able to invest. Australian businesses have to be able to travel overseas as part of our export industries, and we're still so reliant on, on exporting, and that all requires yeah. travel. So is there a chance... It's the tourism in- industry, it's our export industries... Is there a chance that, that people on the east coast of Australia anyway can travel internationally before they can travel to WA? Well, look, we, we want to make sure that everyone sticks to the, the national plan. Uh, everyone signed up to the national plan. The Prime Minister's done an extraordinary job in, in bringing National Cabinet together throughout this pandemic and making sure we steer this our country through the pandemic and in putting the national plan together. The states and territories are on board. They've signed up to it. The Doherty Institute has done an enormous amount of work to make sure that we safely exit out of this pandemic and, and open yeah. up and learn to live with the virus. And, and given that everyone's on board with it, everyone signed up to it, I think um, everyone needs to see all states and territories stick to it because yeah. that's what's going to give us that ability to get moving again. And once we get moving again, that supports those 660,000 jobs in our tourism industry. Okay. Now, th- there is that that uh, that news that's come from Qantas that you referred to earlier, Minister. So it, it, Qantas has updated its plans to restart international flights, gradual from mid-December, to places with high vaccinations. It is dependent on some targets, though. So... What's your view on international travel? When do you think that can resume? Well, the national plan says that international travel can resume through the the use of of travel bubbles when we hit that 80% vaccination rate. So uh, if we hit those 80% vaccination rates uh, before Christmas, then we'll be able to get those bubbles up and running. And obviously, we've had one up and running with New Zealand. Uh, We want to look to see whether we can get one with the Pacific Islands, with Singapore, with South Korea, with Japan, the UK, the US, or other other options. UK and and US. uh, Well, well, we want to start planning for for that eventuality, for when we hit that 80% vaccination rate. That's what the national plan says. Uh, We've had discussions with some of those countries about what we could do in, in setting up a travel bubble. They're obviously keen to do that. And so we'll continue to work on, on those travel bubbles. And in the meantime, what we're doing is asking and encouraging all Australians to roll up their sleeves and get vaccinated so we can hit that 80% mark uh, and then we can begin to, to open up to the rest of the world. OK, what will quarantine look like, though, just finally? Well, we'll continue to to work through that and we'll take the expert medical advice on on quarantining, but we've already seen South Australia move to put their home quarantining pilot in place and that obviously is a a really good start and wouldn't it be wonderful, especially for returning Australians, if if there was an ability to be able to to quarantine at home in the the lead-up to Christmas. So we'll continue to work through that. Uh, It's going to be obviously incredibly important that we do that in, in a safe way, but obviously with people who have been vaccinated, uh, with testing in place, hopefully we'll be able to uh, moderate our quarantine arrangements as we uh, after we've hit okay. that 80% vaccination rate. Uh, probably, uh, again, dependent uh, on the states and travel caps, etc. But I know you're busy, Minister. Uh, appreciate your time this morning. Thanks for joining us here. We'll talk to you again soon. Been a pleasure, Pete. And, uh, and apologies for running a little bit late. I was <laughs> talking to trade ministerial counterparts. OK, no worries at all. Thank you, Minister. We'll talk to you soon.